guys on today's show we have an 11 pound whole sirloin tip roast that we are going to smoke up on my z grills 1102b all right guys you know the deal my name is tommy and this is the gallery backyard barbecue if this is your first time here you got to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel there's a future up i got my z grills already fired up i got it loaded with some cherry pellets here is the whole sirloin roast. So let's just turn our attention down to the board. Let's get this sucker cleaned up, rubbed down, and on the pit. So look, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna clean up this roast a little bit. And basically all you're gonna have is you're gonna have some silver skin on the top. You wanna get that off. Now look, if you take a, a thin a slim of, uh, of meat with it, it's no big deal. And again, any silver skin like that, anything hard or anything dangling off the, uh, off the side of the roast has to go. All right, look, once you get that roast all cleaned up, you want to get your uh, you want to get your seasonings or your rubs. I am going to go with the uh, classic salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. Now, look, if you don't have a, a mixture for this rub right here, I'll leave information down in the description. Make up a big batch, keep it in the cabinet, and you are good to go. Now we are layering flavors here, so you want to get a uh, you want to get a pretty good amount. As you can see, I'm playing the wind. At that point, once you get that roast all salt and peppered up, we are going to layer on some hardcore carnivore black. Now look, if you've never tried this stuff, information down in the show notes. You can get it directly from Amazon. This stuff is killer. So guys, once you get your roast looking like that, you want to give it a, a quick tie and a quick shout out goes to my buddy Ricer over at Dead Broke and also Smoky Ribs. We got Russ. I believe Russ showed Ricer how to make this uh, foolproof tie and Ricer showed me. So, uh, hey man, thanks guys. Yeah. As you'll notice, once you wrap it under a couple times, pull it tight. It will not move, and then you can go ahead and finish up your uh, finish up your knot, and also get the uh, scissors and clean that up a little bit. I do have my Z all preheated up at 250 Fahrenheit. Now we are going to also make us up a, a quick as you on the bottom of that roasting pan, and that is going to be some butter, some garlic. You're gonna to wanna to get some red onion or white onion in and then hit it with some better than bouillon. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so here's where we are, that uh, the uh, garlic and onions that I got in that bottom pan, I got some better than bouillon in there. I'm just gonna let that heat up a little bit, release some of those oils, and then I'll hit that with about a half a cup of water. That is gonna help in our uh, au jus which is definitely a must anytime you're doing a uh, medium rare to rare roast beef like this. And I do have an internal temp in the pit and also in the roast beef, because it is very important that you maintain a nice steady temperature of between 230 and 250 Fahrenheit. And also you want that roast beef rare to medium rare, so you're gonna bring it up to about 125 or so. It'll have a little bit of carryover. I'm thinking we are looking at probably about a three hour smoke, we shall see. Other than that, we just let this puppy run and I'll bring you guys back in a bit. 
All right, guys, I wanted to jump back in here and give you a heads up on where we are. We are two hours in, and we are about 83 internal. Let's go in together. Let's just take a, uh, take a quick peek, and then we'll, uh, we'll bring you back at the end. Come on. So we are spot on on that temperature. I did a, a handheld reading and it is definitely at that 83 range. So we have about probably another hour, hour and a half, which will put us at that three, three and a half hour mark. Either way, we'll see you in a bit. Man, we are a little bit over four hours and we are reading at 124 internal. And again, I did double check with a, a handheld and we are dead center 124. As you pan out, she gets a little bit more done. So I am definitely happy with that. Let's go in, let's check it out. Get it on the board. I'm gonna let this sucker rest for at least 20 minutes. Then I'll bring you guys back and we will slice it up. Oh, come on. So look, man, what could one say but what a color on that roast. And look, that au jus, I'll get that in the house, hit it with a little bit of red wine, cook it down, thicken it up. And that's a, a lot of goodness there, trust me. I mean, look at the color of that roast, man. That is perfect. We will get this on the board. I will loosely tent it with some foil. I'm gonna let it rest 20 minutes and then it's time to cut it open and see how we did. All right, guys, look, man, that is 20 minutes. Let's unwrap this sucker, slice into it, fix us up a plate, and then close out the show. The excitement has built just like it would a, a brisket, man. I am interested in seeing how I did on the inside. I am crossing my fingers for rare to low, medium, rare. Guys, that is rare to medium rare, and we are talking wall to wall. Like I said, we are wall to wall pink, man, and that is exactly what you're looking for. So look, I will get a couple slices off. I will bring in the plate. I will plate one up and then we will close out the show. Yeah. Oh man, I mean right there, that's perfect. All right, guys, so look, man, I know I've been, a uh, couple past cooks I've been getting killed because it was a little too overcooked for them. I'm sure on this cook here today, I'll get killed for the opposite reason. <laughs> Anyhow, man, look, this is perfect for me. This is definitely rare to maybe low, medium, rare. And I got those end slices in the house for the wife, which will be more medium, so that'll be perfect for her, so everybody's happy. So look, man, I got a plate fixed up right here. We got some nice asparagus. We got a, a nice long grain brown rice. And of course we got our uh, beef or our roast beef or our roast, whatever you want to call it. And I got a little bit of that as you on it in the house. I fixed that up with a little bit of red wine, cooked it down a little bit, thickened it up. Perfect. Let's go in, quick taste test. You know, when you slow cook, when you slow cook these kind of roasts here, man, they are tender. Everybody thinks maybe they're not, but they are. And uh, definitely cheers to y'all. Guys, that is so tender. That is so delicious. I'll tell you, I got a, uh, I got a slicer in route from somebody and I, I hope it gets here within the next day or two so I could slice this bad boy up into some deli roast beef, which opens up a whole new, uh, whole new avenue here at the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. So look, man, this is beautiful, man. If you, if you see these things, I picked this up at Costco and I think it cost me about 30, 35 bucks and I'll feed us, I'll feed the neighborhood, I'll feed the mom-in-law, you name it, I'll feed them. All right, so look, man, let's close out this show. Again, follow the links down below. I do believe Z Grills will have this recipe blogged out. 
so you could follow that link, get what you need, and make this same thing right here. That's it for this one. I appreciate all you guys watching, and until next time, we will see you soon.